Okay. Um, so does someone who's, who had the kids, and you know what, just as a process question, I'm just wondering like for future walkthroughs too, for our older <coughs> ones, like yeah. do you think like there's whole cl class instruction, we just okay. have to not talk to kids. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so. But anyhow, so what did you learn? <laughs> From the kids? Yeah. Um, various things, it just depended on who the kid was, but they, they were interested in the theme. Um, they could reiterate the assignment definitely, they knew what it was that they were doing and what she wanted from them. Um, but when I would ask, like, what are you getting out of this? They would say, well, we have to take an exam, so I have to learn this. Um, they did mention that this is a collaboration with the history because they're working on the same theme of China. Um, different, I mean, I, I asked three, group, three kids and I had different grades, like one knew he had an A, one, one knew she had a, a C and she was happy with that and another one had a B. Um, the last one I talked to, which is Patricia, had mentioned um, she wasn't very fond of the handouts. She was looking for more of a literature to be more about the books because um, it's hard for her to read from a handout. And she felt that it's almost like just a lot of paper and a lot of just the, the interest level was lost just in the, the type of um, material she was given. But they um, are reading a book? No, they're reading from handouts. So they'll get sections of a book in a handout yeah. instead of a book. Because um, we, we didn't order the book on time, so that's how we had to do it this year. What novel are they reading? Kokoro. Mm -hmm. So they love the, yeah. the and they love the projects, and they could explain to me like the different things they were doing, um, and why why they had the origami up on the wall. Like they were saying, if you get a thousand of those, you get a wish. And then I was like, did you make a thousand? And like, no, I made one, <laughs> but I wish I did do a thousand. And I was like, so it was. I mean, I got to feel that they knew what she wanted. What they needed to do. And what, when you say what she wanted, what was that? They knew the task at hand, the short-term task, and they knew that eventually they would be tested on this. But in terms of the larger purpose, no. Okay. That was the same yeah. feel that I got. Also, they they were into and willing to participate with the assignment at hand. And, and the good thing that I saw was that they weren't afraid to express individual attitude. You know, I mean, their their own personal feelings about the assignment, or just in general about what they were being asked in that do now exercise. You know? So I didn't, you know, when I asked, you know, if they were doing, if they felt they were doing good work or not. You know, I never got confusion out of that. You know, they all seemed as if it was somewhat indifferent. Like, you know, they thought they all thought they were doing okay. That nobody seemed to be lost in any assignment at all. You know, but in terms of knowing the, the deeper meaning behind, you know, why they were working on the assignment, I didn't get that as much though. Uh, environment. Um, I, I definitely thought it was a welcoming environment because she started with something that would relate to the students' interests. So they were more apt to speaking, and I know she says she has trouble with some kids engaging and interacting, and I think her level of questioning really helped draw them in uh, to the conversation overall. Um, positive reinforcement, you know, when somebody did something, you know, good job, you know, thank you. Uh, so I thought that was good as well. And, um, yeah. Did you see any evidence of student work around? Yes, on the back wall, and obviously the origami on top there. She probably could have a little bit more up, but there was something. Yeah, I had environment as well, and um, I noticed the student work. They had uh, either she or haiku poetry up, the cranes. Um, she had some posters on the side. So it all pertained to this greater theme of Asia, uh, Asian studies. But the level of rigor perhaps attached to it, I'm not so sure. Um, I mean, I, I like the crates. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great thing to see up there and have them hanging. And they obviously knew mm -hmm. the story behind it with Sudoku, but, um, or Sudoku. Is <laughs> 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 that <a> puzzle? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Sudoku. Oh, <laughs> please edit that out. And, uh, so, um, so it was good. You know, they, they took pride in their work. Um, I was asking the one student about the posters because I didn't understand what the island assignment was. Mm -hmm. And they had to create something. Um, so it, it was good. It, it was welcoming. The do now was definitely engaging. And the students liked the idea of, of that question because they can pertain it to their own relationships and where they want to be in the future. I'd be curious to see how it's all going to come around to that mm -hmm. bigger idea of communism in China. So I may have to come back at the end of the period. Mm -hmm.
other pieces, either teaching, we just have about one more minute teaching, or other sub, uh, um, evidence that supports or does not support well, connecting this su to the real world? She's supportive by calling on students to solve problems and brainstorm solutions. She supported that because she wanted them, she threw the scenario out there and wanted their responses. I like the way she leveled it. Like, I like the way she, you know, got responses from them and then she kind of put a twist <coughs> on it of, well, this is the situation and this is the foot binding to throw that out there. And as far as hands-on activities, like I did notice the origami and she supported that too, so in the rubric. Anything else? Else? Uh, that was pretty much the same thing I did. The only thing that I found that she really did do was uh, relating to, to students' interest and then calling on the students. Yeah, one wondering I had was, I think one of the homework assignments was coloring something. Coloring said color, yeah, which is, is, there's a, you know, a rigor question there, but also it seems like with the foot binding and the other pieces that were getting started, it would be a great way to extend this into a homework assignment, especially mm -hmm. if you're just doing something that's sort of a one-off thing like coloring, to talk instead about, you know, beauty standards or, mm -hmm. you know, compare foot binding to earrings or, I mean, this seemed like that, yeah. that might have been a missed opportunity. I don't know. I just have, it's a wondering. I'd like right. to know more about what you do. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Uh, the only thing I saw was drawing on what they already know um, in their own experience, um, but I didn't see any of the other things, I felt. So maybe, maybe the relating to students' interests to a certain degree. Okay. All right, so just, it's a quick summary. It kind of sounds as though that people saw some evidence of trying, her trying to make some connection to the kids' own opinions, experience, um, but that there seemed to potentially be lacking a um, connection to the larger purpose. Or we're all kind of, sounds like we're all kind of wondering, how are you getting back to communism within the scope of this class period uh, and the big idea? And then the last piece just about the notion of rigor and for the homework assignment or for some of the other activities is that really at a you know 10th grade level mm -hmm. okay let's keep moving